Tulsi Gabbard's criticism of Kamala Harris reflects frustration with political figures who rely on scripted speeches and teleprompter-driven rhetoric, which Gabbard sees as a sign of inauthenticity. For Gabbard, true leadership requires speaking from the heart, demonstrating sincerity not just in words, but in actions. Leaders who lean heavily on rehearsed talking points seem disconnected from the real issues that concern everyday people, like border security, because they lack the genuine passion needed to address these critical problems. When I saw that Vice President Harris went to go visit the border on Friday, we all saw it for what it was, 38 days from Election Day. It's not okay to say better late than never. She doesn't get a pass on this one. But when I saw her, when I saw her give her press conference and her speech that was clearly read off of a teleprompter word for word, it made me sick because it once again was a demonstration of her arrogance in lying directly to our faces that after three and a half years of telling us that the borders are secure, she stands there and tells us that we have to have rules in place that must be enforced to secure our border and that she as president will do that. She hasn't done it for the last four years. We shouldn't believe her lies that she will do anything differently. She's prosecuted and sued and gone after the governors of these border states who've taken action in the absence of federal leadership to do their part for their citizens to secure their borders. And they're still fighting to do that today. Whether it's the border or just about every other challenge and issue that's facing not Republicans or Democrats, but all of us as Americans, it's clear that Kamala Harris and Joe Biden are not interested in solving problems. They're not interested in securing our border. They're not interested in truly reforming our broken legal immigration system. They are more interested in allowing people to illegally cross our borders but will turn their backs on people like a close friend of mine who has served as a special forces soldier for over 30 years, who simply wanted to invite some of his family members who live in Italy to come to his retirement, who applied for a two-week tourist visa and were denied. More of their policies of America last. We need to send a strong message to them that we will not come last anymore. The American people and our country and our freedom must come first. Gabbard's remarks can be seen as a broader critique of a common grievance, the perception that many political leaders, especially those who rely on carefully crafted speeches, are more concerned with image than with authentic engagement. Authenticity, in this sense, means confronting reality with honesty, both with the public and oneself. Gabbard's visceral reaction, describing Harris's rhetoric as sick, underscores her deep dissatisfaction with what she views as a superficial and insincere attempt to tackle serious issues like immigration and national security. The crux of Gabbard's argument is that real leadership isn't defined by political convenience, but by staying true to one's core beliefs and following through on promises. Her critique resonates with a fundamental conservative principle that the government's foremost duty is to secure the country's borders and protect its sovereignty. Failure to do so, Gabbard suggests, isn't just a policy misstep, but a breach of a government's existential responsibility to its people. Weak borders, in this view, pose a threat to the nation's identity, culture, and overall stability. By accusing Harris, and the Biden administration of focusing more on political optics than on actual solutions, Gabbard channels a deep-seated frustration over leadership that prioritizes appearances over substance. This failure to act decisively on border security, in her eyes, is a betrayal of the government's duty to safeguard its citizens. For Gabbard, this gap between rhetoric and reality, where leaders say the right things but fail to take meaningful action, erodes public trust and feeds into broader anxieties about national security. Her criticism also highlights what she sees as a pattern of inconsistency from Harris, who, after years of asserting the border was secure, now acknowledges the need for stricter enforcement, but has done little to address the issue in a meaningful way. This inconsistency, Gabbard suggests, 
reveals a deeper problem. Political leaders who fail to act in accordance with their stated beliefs. When promises aren't backed up by concrete actions, the public becomes disillusioned and confidence in leadership falters. The disconnect between what is said and what is done leaves people feeling vulnerable, fueling their fears about the future direction of the country.